Hey there everyone and welcome to this sixth video in JavaScript ES6 and Beyond tutorial series. In this video, we will understanding the concept of abstract classes, getters and setters. To understand abstract classes, we will see an example from our previous video in our directory hash4. We created a class shape and then inherited this class into the class rectangle and then we instantiated an object of rectangle class and called upon the methods from both rectangle and shape class. An abstract class is a class which we do not want to be instantiated. That is, we don't want an object of an abstract class to be created and we don't need it. For instance, in our example, a shape without a context that if, if it is a rectangle or if it is a circle or if it is a triangle is unnecessary. That is, we don't want a shape to be instantiated without a context to it, that is, what shape it is. To make a class, an abstract class, we use if new.target is equals to shape. Now, if our new target is shape, then we have to throw a new error and say abstract class can be sorry cannot be instantiated and we save this file go to our command prompt run node space in next.js hit enter and we'll see it's working properly because we do not have instantiated an object of shape class as you can see rectangle is actually extending the shape class and thus it doesn't cover an abstraction but now as soon as we use this let shape is equals to new shape and we give it a color because the constructor ask, asks for it we save this file go to our command prompt run node space index.js and hit enter you'll see it throws the error abstract class cannot be instantiated to understand getter and setter we'll close this folder from our, our microsoft visual studio code open our command prompt go back on folder create a new folder and name it hash5 change direct to hash5 and then open the command prompt for visual studio code here and then we'll clear the screen awesome now let's create a file and name it index.js let's consider we have a class for a square shape and of course let's make make the s capital and let's create the constructor for the class which will take the side length and then it will set this dot side is equals to side now we want the a getter for the area of the square so the getter is created by the get keyword before the name of the getter which is area here and then we can say you have to return this dot side star this dot side so basically it's returning the area of our square now if we go on and create a f object for our square let's small square ah what i'm doing square is equals to square new square and then pass 5 to it as the side length and then call this getter as a function like we usually do and I'll let you know why I'm doing this before understanding it so let's just do it for now square dot so let's just do it log square dot area and if you do it like this like the function and save it go to our command prompt run this you'll see it says square dot area is not a function and that's what the difference between getter and a function is getter is not actually a function it is not something an object which can be called upon it is just a value it gets a value for area from the class so that's what a getter is it's get this value it gets this value from the square class and if you save it now we are calling it like a value and you'll see that it says 25 another thing to notice about a getter is that you know getter is a value as i said before so we could be able to assign a value to this area value 
but and if we try this square dot area is equals to 5 sorry uh, 25 36 it will actually not generate any error reason behind it is that square dot okay now I'll just show you this thing square dot area now it will not show any error because this statement is meaningful we have a value square root area and we're signing a value 36 to it but what happens when we call the area and we want to print the area so if you do this it again prints 25 and doesn't print 36 for the new area value and that is because getter is basically a getter and that's what its functionality is it does not set values so that's why you cannot do this and if you look at the function you look at the getter you'll see it returns this dot side start this dot side and we have not altered side here so we'll remove this piece of code and understand how can we set value and of course we'll use setter for it set uh, let's say we will want to set the side okay now notice I have given a capital S because small s is for this dot side as a value and not a setter so I have used a capital S here and if I give it a s value and then we say this dot side is equals to s and now if I want to set this value I'll simply say um, square dot side is equals to 6 and then if we call the function sorry sorry call the getter square dot area and we uh, wait it will show an error so if we go here and run node space index.js and hit enter you'll see it says 25 and 36 so now that we have changed this value of the side we can run the area and we can get a new area out of the same square so guys, this was pretty much it for this video. We'll be understanding more about JS in the upcoming lectures. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. Also, like and share this video. And as always, thanks for watching.